hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel so today in this video i am going to show you how you can make the template for the book folding yes i am talking about the video that i have uploaded almost two years ago and today i will be showing you how you can make the template for the book although i have sent a lot of people the template through their email but there are many that i couldn't respond and by the time I decided to upload a video on this topic, as you all know, my channel was banned. So it is never too late, right? So I am uploading it right now. I hope you guys like the video. And if you do like the video, please hit that red colored button over there. You can see that subscribe button. Yeah, that helps me a lot. As you guys all know, I will give everything in the description box below. You can download all the files, all the necessary things that I will use in this video. You can download it from the link in the description below. But the only one thing that I need from you is a subscribe. So please hit the subscribe button so that all the contents that I make for you remains free forever. So let's jump into the video. First we need to go to Photoshop. If you do not have Photoshop, I will show you a way of how you can do it without Photoshop. But first, uh, let me show you how you can use Photoshop to do this. First go to Photoshop and then we will open. You, get, you have to download this PDF file that I will include in the description. Then you will open it with Photoshop. Okay, just we will keep everything like this then we will open it so here you can see we have opened our file and as you can see here that all these lines that are there there is also numbering like one three five seven and in case you are wondering why there is odd numbers you can refer to my previous video now you can find it in the i button somewhere around here you can go check out that video and i apologize for the sound quality but yeah coming back so first as i have said in that video we need to know how many pages are there in our book folding book so suppose there are uh, around 500 pages right so what we will do is now we will again go and open so for this one you can also find this template in the description box below but in case you want to make some other design apart from this you just need to go to google chrome just type in like suppose i want heart okay h-a-r-t heart vector so if you go to heart vector see you can see over here we just need to go with a black and white picture like suppose this one or this one or anything like not this type of things obviously but yeah you can do this one also you we can do right so and if you want to make this type of thing, you can also go and refer to my video over there. So, whatever be it, I will show you with this template. Okay. So, we just need to import it, open. This, this is the easiest way, way that I will be showing, showing you. Okay. okay. So, so, we just, just need to select, select this one, one control C, C for copy. copy. Then, then, we, we can, can go and, and Paste it over here. Okay. okay. So, so we can, can see, see the image is pasted over here. To reshape, reshape it, it, we, we can, can use Ctrl plus T. You can, can select, select this one and, and press Ctrl plus T. So, so see, see you. We, we have, have transformation, transformation option. If, if in case you are saying, saying that when we increase this size, size automatically the height, height is getting controlled, just, just check, check that, that this button over here is unchecked. So, so after, after doing, doing that, that so, so we will, will go all the way, way up to one, one. we will match it. it then we, we will drag, drag it around here. here 
then we will write it around here. And next, what we can do is we will extend this one. Like suppose, yeah. Here I can see that 459. So suppose there are 500 pages, right? So we can go up to 495 or something around that because we want to leave some pages in front and at the back. So we will take it like that. And now just click on enter. Okay. So as you can see, uh, this template is ready. Now what we need to do is we need to go over here for the blending options. You can see it is set to normal. We will take that and we will select as darken right so here you can see we have got our lines over here okay so now we need to do is go to file then export okay export as so we will export it so we will just for now save it in the desktop so I had already created this one, but again, I will just replace it. Okay. So we have got our template over here and let it process for some time left till then we can go. I will paste this link in the description. Yes. Overlay.imageonline.co. When we, uh, you can go to this website and what we need to do is we need to upload the image like you can see that is there is in PDA format, right? We can convert. Uh, I have <coughs> converted that PDF in a PDF into an image file, and you can simply go and import it in this section. Okay. Then what we need to do is add our overlay image that is same as this one. We will open it. Now you can see you can adjust the size of this one from here right so we will adjust this size okay okay so the thing is we cannot see what is over here right so we can just guess it that maybe it will be around here 500 if not we can save it, we can check it, if it is like less than 500 or greater than 500, we can again come back to this page and we can adjust the size accordingly. Okay, right? So, uh, just for this sake, let me assume that up to 495 is over here. Okay. So, now we can just blend some. Okay. Yeah, so that the lines are visible over there. Okay, so now we need to convert it. After converting it, you can see we have got our result over here. And now we will download the image. Okay, so yeah. Overlay. Let me select this one. I think I have already done it, save once. Okay, we have got our overlay image. Let me show you. This is also saved. So coming to this, uh, this one I have created with Photoshop. Okay. You can see. Yeah. Okay. 489 as far as I have selected over there. So this is we made with Photoshop, right? Now coming to the other one that is but I have made it with the online software. See, 435. So you can go back to that website and just drag this image a little bit more. Like one box that we, can, we have seen over here. See, one box. So, yeah, like this. And you can pre preview the image. It will be saved over here. And then you can download the image, right? So the next part is we all have a4 size sheet right so how we can like 
in uh, print out this page like my previous video <coughs> is that we can just uh, like I'll show you the one I've that I've created with Photoshop. I will go over here and I will select as open with paint. This is the simplest way you can do it. And if we will go to paint, open with paint. So once our image is open, what we need to do is file then print here you can see print then we will go to page setup right so it is it is showing us that we are fitting this to one by one page right so what we will do is we will just select four by one page right then we will select ok now we can go to print print preview let's see see okay so this looks good right so first page is still 175 then next is like 357 the other one is for 541 right and this is not needed so like we can go to print from here and then we will just print those pages out so this is the easiest way i could have shown you how you can like make the book template then print it in pages easily right so all the images that you have seen in this video i've used i will give it in the description box below you can simply go ahead download it you can make your own template with it so that is all for today guys thank you for staying around and supporting those who were there there was a great delay in uploading this video and I sincerely apologize for that. Please go ahead, make your own template, keep creating. Bye.